to the adult skills presentation. I'm Jo Byrne and I'm the Interim Assistant Principal at Petroc and the Adult Skills Lead. I'm delighted to be here tonight to talk about how Petroc can support your aspirations through education. Education is evolving and learning today has to be flexible, accessible, affordable and inclusive. In terms of flexibility, the pandemic has taught us so much. Online learning, which we will use to complement our classroom teaching. Gone are the days where you'd sign up for either an on-site or an online lesson. We will be flexible in our delivery. You'll be able to switch from online to on-site and we'll be live streaming our live lessons. Many of us have work and family pressures and we need to make learning accessible to all. We'll have daytime and evening sessions and you'll be able to change between sessions with ease. In terms of affordability, um, did you know that the majority of our level two courses such as maths and English are free? And this now also extends to many level three courses. We'll shortly be promoting our level three courses that are, that are funded through the National Skills Fund. And these will be free to learners who are yet to achieve a full level three. And really close to my heart is inclusivity. Learning can be a challenge, but we work with you. We will work with you, sorry, to break down those obstacles to learning. We plan to create a new internet learning space in the Lifestyle Centre, which will be supported by a cafe to create, or cafe culture really, to create an enhanced learning experience. Our additional learning support is here for you. So, you will see in front of you some career pathways and our adult success coaches will help you with a pathway to your career, your sector of choice. All our pathways are supported by maths, English and essential digital skills. For those of you joining me today, you may not know exactly what you're aiming for, but you may have a sector of interest. We are here to discuss your options and find the right route for you. And our pathways include education, health and social care, health and sports science, construction and built environment, digital business innovation, salon services, hospitality and creative industries. Now, pathways are all well and good, but what do they look like? We aren't just here to offer a qualification. Our pathways are supported by initial advice and guidance and tutorial provided by our adult success coaches. Your qualification can also be supported by the wonderful and free essential digital skills to make sure that you're ready for learning at higher levels. And obviously the core subject that you wish to pursue. We have some really exciting Summer 21 activity. So for those of you thinking, I need to get my maths and English to get onto that level two, to get onto that level three, this will be running in May and June. We also have an Understanding Autism course at level three that we're hoping to get running through the summer. And have a look at our pages for our fantastic, our web page for our fantastic business offer, CMI at level three and also AAT bookkeeping. So pathways are really important. And many of you, this, well, sorry, this may be an example here or is an example of a pathway to education. Some of you may want to be a teaching assistant, a teacher or actually might be aiming at educational psychology or tutoring or being a school administrator. We can help you from your essential key skills right up to your degree, a degree here on your doorstep. 
supported by an outstanding teaching and learning team. It may be that you have your English maths and you might be thinking, do you know what? I want to work in a school, but I'm not quite sure how. And you may want to take on a teaching and learning route. We have teacher, uh, teaching assistant courses and also full level threes. You may already be working in a school and think, actually, I'd like to do aut an understanding autism course at level two or three or principals in um, special educational needs. We have a full range as well of distance learning courses that can meet your needs and they are fully online from short courses of a couple of weeks to what we call long duration, which might be the full academic year or two. For those level three learners, you might be thinking that an access to HE de um, course is the right pathway for you into degree. And these are fantastic at Petrock. And everything we have aligns to you starting and working through your degree with us here in Barnstable or Mid Devon or in the wider Devon community. It's here and it's on your doorstep. We feel very strongly that higher level learning and thinking happens just happens here. We're not just a 16 to 18 provision, which we are ex very good at, but adult learning is here on your doorstep. Petrock is your resource and we are here for our community. And I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce Petrock Talks. These are a series of lectures and community discussions on key subjects such as education, justice and health. Our first Petrock Talks event will be held in June and we'll be focusing on a number of things with our Scholarly Activity Week at HE. We have one particular talk on Thursday the 24th of May which will be around education and what education will look like post-COVID. Please look out for our social media course because we'd like to see you there as part of the discussion. Our Petrock Talks will involve a panel of experts who will be there to give an opinion on how we stand. So the first Petrock Talks um, community event will be um, education post-COVID and we will, ex we will have a member from the learning community, a CEO at a local academy trust. We'll have um, the technical head of education at ETF talking about this and also um, a professor from Plymouth University but more importantly as well one of our own learners uh, and one of our um, academic staff to you know to introduce the topics. So one thing that I feel very passionate about is for adult learning to have an identified home both at um, North Devon campus and at Mid Devon campus. We'll be using the Lifestyle Centre for Learning at Lifestyle and also the Liberty Cafe and the X Cafe in Mid Devon for Learning at Liberty and X. So if you're thinking, I'm not quite sure, I don't know what to do, I'm interested in a career change or just building on past qualifications, then I'd like you to email us at adultlearning at petrock.ac.uk. If you'd like a conversation around initial advice and guidance, we can, we, we, we can arrange that for you. Our teams are here to help you to talk through what the steps are and what an educational journey at Petrock can look like. You know, it's not a one um, size fits all. Some people will be looking for an apprenticeship, a higher apprenticeship. Some adults will be just looking at um, just achieving some level one or level two qualifications just to help them with everyday life, supporting children and also with themselves in the workplace. And other people will be thinking, do you know what? I want to change direction. I want to look at a degree in something else. Or I want to gain some work experience or some other qualification moving forward. 
Um, the world is your oyster. Um, as I said, please contact us as Adult Learning at Petrop. Um, and also join me for a monthly webinar where I'll be focusing on sector pathways. Um, and these will be coming up shortly. They'll be advertised on the website and on our social media posts. So does anybody have any questions that they'd like to pose? Oh, thank you. Sorry, I've just come off the shared screen, Luke. I couldn't see it. Um, so what's the adult community at Petrop like? Um, well, it's really interesting, but it's very diverse um, and vibrant. Um, there's a really good buzz um, of an evening at Petrock um, when people are in for their learning, when the community comes in for learning. Um, and I think one thing is... Um, a few people have said to me in the past, and they've come for interviews and said, I, 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 I think I'm past learning. No, no, everybody is learning um, right the way through life. There, there's no age barrier to this. Learning happens all the time. Um, and people change direction in careers all the time. So what I would say is you, you see a mix of people from different backgrounds. Um, and it's, it's also a very healthy learning community where we have a lot of peer-to-peer -peer support and buddying that goes on. So I would say a very warm and welcoming um, environment to work and um, to, to study in. Oh, interesting question. So what are the funding options for adult courses? And I honestly, adult courses have never been as accessible um, as what they are now. We have the majority of our level one courses, level one and two courses are either free or core funded. For more specific advice, I would recommend that you contact the Advice and Guidance Centre at Petrock. We'll be able to talk you through you know, how um, the funding is affected by your own personal circumstances and what's on offer. What's really exciting for us as well is the National Skills Fund at Level 3. And also the, the options for access is really important. People think that they're going on to access and yes, it is. Um, you, you will need a loan to go on to access. But a lot of that then um, is um, sort of can be. Um, uh, yeah, if, if you move on to, next, to the next study, next level of study, then um, that's something um, that's often mitigated. Um, so, yes, funding, um, from a funding point of view, as an adult learner, there's never been a better time really to study, especially not in the last few years. Yeah, so a really, really interesting question. Is there any flexibility for adult students with attending classes? Yeah. So if you've chosen, we have two options, really. Um, I can read, in terms of things like maths and English, um, Emma, um, what we are doing with kind of all the level two courses is trying to do as much live streaming as we possibly can and filming as many of them or recording, not recording the lessons from just from the teacher's perspective. Um, so if you do have a work and you work shifts and you can't attend that session, then um, we will um, post the recording. And as long as you complete the work, that's absolutely fine. We One thing that COVID has taught us is how important being flexible is. Um, and I think that's really important. Um, and for example, if you were to sign up for an English course that's on site and then you needed to move to 100% online, that's something we can facilitate. Also, oh, really interesting point. Um, in terms of, I can't really talk in, in terms of the core apprenticeship offer, um, but particularly around the maths and English element for, um, for apprenticeships, because we have 
fully online. We have on-site that you can then move online. I think one thing to remember is with um, flexible learning, it does depend on the level of the learning as well. And working in isolation doesn't that doesn't work for everyone and sometimes there is that need for um, a greater teacher presence really um, especially when there's some additional support but I get your point and I think with apprenticeships definitely um, it's something that will become a lot more flexible. Also, really interesting question. Um, how many days on average um, a week is the adult course? It depends on the level of study. So um, if it was a GCSE or functional skill or level one course, I'd probably be looking at just one evening um, or daytime. Um, it, if it's a level two course, obviously it depends on the short course or long course. Um, sometimes our um, uh, adult um, provision is um, mixed with our daytime provision when it comes to level twos and level three full qual, um, but you're looking at about three days. Oh, that's a really important, uh, a really, really good question, this one. What do adult learners go on to after completing a course at Petra? Um, it, Oh gosh, the world is your oyster really with this. Um, we have so many adults progressing onto universities, into apprenticeships, and sometimes just whatever they're working on, whatever their work, their level of work as such um, in the workplace, quite often it's the next step up. But what I normally find is that learners come to us, you know, to start off with essential skills and get hooked on the whole learning experience. And so many of our level two learners go on to go to level three. And what's lovely now is that fantastic opportunity to go on to level four and to stay here in your community. Um, is you know, it's just a fantastic opportunity. I think one thing to remember is quite often, if you go to our Facebook page, we have um, sort of case studies of learners who've gone off to do various things, whether it's here or overseas. I mean, you know, um, courses here at Petrock, we embrace any form of um, work overseas, you know, work experience overseas, trips, things like that. Obviously, the COVID world has been quite tricky, um, but we see this as an opportunity to gain, um, you know, work study at Petrock generally comes with an opportunity for work experience and um, just, I suppose, exposure to um, the world at large. Oh, oh, right, with access, yes. Um, I think it depends, obviously, on the course. I think in terms of things that are science-related, I think there is probably a need to be... Um, present obviously for the um the lab work and things like that um i think with all of this um and what i can do emma is um if it would help i could get um the head of access the wonderful susie smale to give you a call to talk about the flexibility because we do have um some part-time courses as well as full-time um, and I know it depends on what units and modules that you follow um, will depend on the days that you need. So what I don't want to say is do is speak with Susie and say, oh, no, no, it's completely flexible. I think it's probably best if I get Susie to drop you a line. So I'll see if we can get some details for you, Emma, if that's OK. Luke, I don't know if there's something you could help with. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, that's really lovely. Um, yeah, so, yeah, excellent. Yeah. I mean, I hope that um, you've also felt, I mean, obviously, we've had a, a difficult time with the, um, every college and every workplace has. Um, but there's one thing about Petrock is it is a community college with a community feel. And there's such a good vibe that goes on with adult learning, that comes with adult learning here at Petrock.
And I'll definitely pass on that comment. That's really lovely. Oh, yes. So um, what's the work experience or placement opportunities as an adult learner? That's really, really interesting um, because we do do everything we can to support the work experience element moving forward. Um, I know um, in terms of our um, level three and our, um, our degree programmes in particular as well, um, the college is very interested and has always been a high, um, uh, highly heavily invested in the Erasmus scheme and now obviously we've got the launch of the Turing scheme. So, and I know when Caroline talks about HE um, following this, she'll be really um, keen to share that, um, that the opportunities that come with learning overseas um, as a short work placement, as a trip. Um, but yes, we have that international agenda, definitely. Oh, that's wonderful. So I think we might be out of questions and nearly out of time. So I just want to say a huge thank you for joining us this evening. Um, thank you so much. And I really hope that we'll see some of you um, in September, if not before. And as I said, at any point, just come in, chat to me, the advice and guidance, drop us an email at adult learning here at Petra. Thank you ever so much. <laughs>